Mr. Mark or anything. That side of it and this side of it. And that's what it looks like on. Huh? It's very pretty. No wear on it at all. It's still got a nice gold color to it. Be easy to take on and off too. There you go. Get this off. Okay. Next are some acrylic beads, very nice beads. You have a fold over clasp. These are Napiers with the patent number. So these are old. These are vintage. Vintage in excellent condition. They are a deep navy blue color. They almost look black on the screen, but they're definitely navy blue in color. Very nice. Next we have a little stretchy bracelet, acrylic beads, and this chocolate brown color. The next is a Guess Los Angeles. Here's the back of that. That's pretty cool. Little flower with a rhinestone keychain. That also has Guess on it. Also has Made in Indonesia. And it's got the Guess on the heart. Very cute. Nice keychain. Next is a silver tone clamper. Looks very um, mesh and filigree. It's in good shape. It's a gray silver, it's not a shiny silver. Here's the back part. Very cute. Very magnetic. I don't see any markings in it. Ooh, next we have some beautiful pink color pearls. You've got your mauve and your lighter mauve into pink. Ombre effect. Very pretty. We have this rhinestone. Beautiful. Or maybe even CZ. Purple. Bracelet. Has a lobster claw clasp and an extender. Very pretty. No stones are missing. Very pretty, and it gets, you know, it goes from small to big, so, because you have your extender. Here's a memory wire bracelet with beautiful pearls and prong set rhinestones. These are glass pearls because they're very cold. It's absolutely beautiful. There's no wear on these pearls. The luster is beautiful. Very pretty. The 
The next is like a cobblestone road pendant. There's no markings on the back. There's a little wear here. Nice roller chain. Lobster claw clasp with an extender. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Okay. So craft lot because of the wear on the pendant. I may be able to get that off. I don't know. I'm coming. Okay. I need a sip. Look at this. Articulated. Very colorful little fish. Uh, he's not missing stones. He's just stuck up back in here. I had nothing to do with his fins. I just... Yeah, you did. You did <laughs> this. I did not. Yes, you did. You did this to drive me crazy. And it's working. <coughs> exactly how I feel. Now, I don't know if I can get this other side through. I'm working on it, guys. Hmm. Maybe this way. Do you want to go off line and do that? No. Okay. I want them to see me struggle. The struggles I go through. <laughs> going through these jewelry <laughs> jars. How perfect, my minion, buddy. Oh, he's laughing at me. Okay, I'm turning y'all off. <laughs> okay, I got it by George. I think I got it. <laughs> Beautiful, colorful, little articulated fish with a little stone eye. It's like a red stone, a deep red. Definitely a red, not a black. It looks black on the screen. He's got a very antique rope chain. There's your lobster claw clasp, your extender. Brassy looking um, rope chain. And there's your fish. Oh, come on. As always, I had it turned the wrong way. Very long chain on this. That is adorable. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this is a wow. Very pretty. Clips, maybe collar clips to make it look like a necklace. These are not inlays, but they sure look it. It's acrylic. Very well done. Very nicely done. And I don't know what this is. It's magnetic. Very southwestern look to this. Without the cost. And here's the underside. It's nowhere. go. Very cute. Love that. Here's a cute little River Dogs mm -hmm. bracelet. Our minor league baseball team. Uh, yep. Minor league baseball team here in Charleston. Isn't Bill Murray part owner of that, or uh -huh. owner? Yep, part owner. Yep. Yeah. Ghostbusters, man. Very cool. Want to say that for the boys? Yep. Okay. 
Here's a pretty little ring with a marquee cut red stone. There's nowhere. And it's small, so it's probably a five. Exactly a five. I cannot wear a five. Here's your side view. It's got a nice band on it. Band width. Very pretty. What did you say about the stone? It's just marquee cut red. Oh, okay. It's not a stone stone, honey. Okay, well, I don't know. Well, I do. Mm. Here is a little plastic little lime, lime green beaded bracelet. You want to put that with the kids? Sure. We won't, we'll be able to find them with that on. Yeah. This is pretty. This is beautiful. It's a brooch. Here's the back. I'm looking to see if I'll find any writing on this. I think I see something right here. Let's see if we can see it together. Definitely there. What it says, who knows? Definitely a looper. Wow. It's really hard to read. It says Giovanni. So this is a Giovanni beautiful brooch. Single pearl. It's not magnetic. I don't know. Let's see. We are going to test it for gold. No, it disappeared. So it's not gold, but it's not magnetic. So it may be gold over copper. That's what I'm thinking, because it has somewhat of a copper look to it to me. Look on the pen real quick, see if there's any markings on the pen. No, there are not. I have to look him up. Look Giovanni up. See if I can find a pen like that. Okay, that's off. Don't forget to do that. Here is a paper memory wire bracelet. Paper beads. Browns and orange and very earth tone colors. In great condition. Separated by little seed beads and their glass. Very cute. Here's a pair of earrings that are glass. In that blue and honey amber color. It's like drops of honey. 
Here is a ceramic piece on a cord with a clasp, a hook clasp. Not magnetic. I don't think it's silver. But you'll see. Hopefully I'm wrong. No. Probably some kind of pewter. It's got that gray look again. And I don't see any markings. But you look at it. Put that in the craft lot. Okay. The next is box class. Beautiful. Little crystal beads. My favorite. box clasp. The old box clasp. I'm looking for any markings for silver or sterling. Sometimes it's right in here in that section. Let's see anything. I'm going to try the magnet. Yeah, it's not magnetic. We'll give it a little rub and a test because it looks silver to me. There's that. Oh yeah, that's very silver. Yay. And these are crystals. This is very beautiful. It's very old. The crystals are all knotted in between. It's beautiful. They graduate in size. They get larger as you go down. Cold. Very vintage. Here you go, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one we have is lobster claw class. Pretty chains. Well, let's go this way, Robin. Just love this. Figure out which way it goes. There we go. Very pretty. Multiple chains. Let's try it on skinny. Very pretty. Here's your clasp and your bead at the end. Makes it a nice finish. Oops. Very pretty. I'm 
I'm going to connect it one more time and give it back to you, honey. Oh, sure. And I've shown those earrings, too, right there. Okay. Get with it. <laughs> I'm playing. Here's a, a lobster claw with an extender with a little bead. Um, trying to think of what chain. Curved chain and a lot of little hearts. A lot of little amber pieces. This heart is missing its little stone. This is a little locket. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. It's a very cute piece for the craft lot. If we find this little stone, we'll... What color are you looking for? <laughs> it's it's honey-colored, oh. and it's heart-shaped and fasted. Oh, okay. So we'll set it aside, and if you don't find it, just put it in the craft lot. Silver tone pendant, beautiful Rolo textured paint, uh, chain. Nowhere at all. This is a beautiful necklace, well made. What do we have here? Monet or something, I'm sure. Yes, a Monet. Here's your clasp. Wow. It's one of those. It's also Mark Monet. It's a beautiful Monet piece. Very beautiful. Excellent condition. And vintage. Here's a beautiful little curved heart. Wrist. Look like that if I snapped it on with this hanging down, because I don't need the extra. Very pretty, very dainty, no marks, no wear, well, wear on the very edge, but that doesn't take away from it at all, no wear on the top, very nice, the next one is a paper beaded necklace, and this one's got a snap closure, it's got um, these paper beads, and then it's triple-stranded at the bottom. This one's well-made, very pretty. Haven't seen one that was made like this. That is very cool. I like that one. The next, I like this too, it's stretchy. Mm. It's got glass beads and wood beads and beautiful blues and greens. I love this color combination. That is absolutely beautiful. Nice summer casual piece to wear. That's different. Oh, yeah. The bad part is... Well, why didn't you tell me? I could have fixed it. Anyway, we have this cute little pendant. That's a fan. Very pretty. A little tassel. I love this. Nice bell. Nice chain, but it's broken. I'm going to work on fixing it. Because I think this is worth fixing. There's no tarnish or anything on it. So I'll have to see. I can fix this or not. I might have to be innovative in finding a way to fix it, like adding a pearl or bead or something in there. That would just be up here at the top. Very pretty. I'm going to put it to the side and I'm going to put it in my fix it pot. Okay. Another paper bead? Uh, there's two of them. Ooh. Two. Here we go. The first one is like a bumblebee yellow jacket colors. Yellow and black. I really like that combination. It's a barrel clasp. It screws on. That's cool. Nice closure. 
separated by little clear bead spacers. The next one is a variety of color. And it's just a long one by itself. Which can be doubled. And one like that. Put it the way you want to. Layered with the other ones. These are the colors. These are the long paper beads. I'm going to put them all together. So. Yeah, put them all together. Okay. Next thing we have is a cute little brooch. Trick or treat. Kind of like a little scary pumpkin there. With a witch's hat on and a star. There's the back. There's nowhere. The enamel is very thick on this. It's in great condition. Pretty little brooch. And next we have a necklace with two lobster claws. Nice um, wave chain, beads, acrylic pieces that are fasted. There we go. Next are glass beads. Next is a beautiful silver chain. No markings. Twisted. Diamond cut, so it's got a lot of shine attached is a dragonfly with a pearl on the inside and you can change that pearl out to another color if you want this is the right side of it I was showing you the back <laughs> see how clean it is had me fooled there's the front very cute like I said there's a little pearl in there and you can't open that up You'd have to take the chain off to do it. Because there's the little hinge right there. So that's really cute. Let's see if that's magnetic. Yeah, slightly. Now that's not, but this is. This could be stainless steel though. No, this is copper based. So it's silver with copper based, and probably so is this. Here's a little heart that looks like it's amber on a pretty silver chain. Here's your chain. Your chain is marked 925. I'm going to verify that with the loop. Yes, 925. MSCO. Must be the manufacturing company or the makers. Info. This is not cold at all, which amber would not be cold. Oh yeah. It really fluoresces. Let's see if I can show it to you. Turn the lights off? Yeah, turn it off. See? See how it turns milky? So yes, that tells me it is amber. Turn the lights on, honey. You see how this is clear? Now turn the light and see how it gets milky and you can see it better with the lights off. See that gold fluorescent color? So yeah, that's amber. Nice. Let y'all look at it a little closer. Here's is, the other side. Is the chain anything? 
Um, yeah, the chain said 925, okay. and the bell on this amber says 925. Okay. Right there, so. There you go. That's an awesome piece. I don't have much amber. That's a pretty one, the heart. Mm-hmm. I've shown this, too. Okay. Next is Lobster Claw Class, extended with a bead, and there's nowhere. Pretty little chain here. Little blue, blue vested stones with this flower at the end with the blue rhinestone in the middle. That's a very beautiful. Love that. Little heart petals. These blue beads here are acrylic and so is this but it's just beautiful this one has a lobster claw clasp with an extender the bead on the end nice rollo chain love this at the end love the pendant part the bars that are, are alternated between rhinestone and polished all the rhinestones are there. There's no wear on this necklace. In fact, this necklace looks like it hasn't been worn. Very pretty. Here's the back. Here's the front. Put that on skinny. Oh, he wants me to put it on skinny. Stop it. He's Cut laughing at me. Cut it out. There we go. Very pretty look. Kind of bright. Let's tone it down a bit. That's too bright. That's not bright enough. Anyway, it's very pretty. Beautiful gold color. Okay, mister. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. What's this? At least a doll. Oh, Hulk Marvel. Thor. Ooh, some of my favorite characters. Yeah, Iron Man and Captain America. And who's the guy with the bow and arrow? I don't know. Mm. Marvel. On this little beaded chain here. Put that in the door for Dalton. Right. Thank you. Here's a pretty gray pearl and cream colored pearl. Little glass.